Hey guys, it is Tyler here, back once again with another Assassin's Creed Empire video. This time, this is a bit of a topic I wanted to bring up. I talked a little bit about it on Kill Connor Club this past week, which was about the reinvention of the franchise, and do I think it should occur with Empire? I've always been, because I, I don't want to repeat myself with things about Empire with this long build-up, right? Uh, and I've always been of the opinion that they shouldn't be reinventing the franchise. The franchise needs an identity, and it's been losing it because it changes so much all the time. Uh, but at the same sense, I've started to realize that why am I upset with open world games getting so stale? That's not just Assassin's Creed, that's over lots of companies and different games. I felt like open world games are all the same. I need something fresh, I need something new. I've been going and playing different kinds of games uh, because the open world action adventure RPG that I love so much, it's my favorite type of game to play, seems to be same old, same old, no matter what franchise. Until I played Horizon Zero Dawn. And I realized that it's not that the open world game has reached a peak and it can't get better. Quite the opposite. It can continue to get more innovative than I could have imagined. And Horizon Zero Dawn did that. And if, I did uh, a ton of my plays this week. And I know people who watch that know how much I love this game. And I've talked about it again on the last Kill Connor Club. Horizon Zero Dawn is a phenomenal game. And I recommend it to anyone that enjoys an open world RPG action adventure experience. Now when it comes to Assassin's Creed. I think I don't think it should take notes from Horizon Zero Dawn on the way it works as a game. But I think it can take notes from Horizon Zero Dawn in the sense of don't just do the same old things and expect everyone to be happy. Do things that are familiar to us or types of things that are familiar to us, but give us a totally refreshing way to do it. Now, the, the problem with Assassin's Creed doing this is they've tried to do this before with Assassin's Creed 3. Did not go over well. They fixed it up a lot of things with Assassin's Creed 4, Black Flag, but it kind of felt like the gameplay and the identity of that sort of thing worked in a pirate game sense and didn't work outside of that as an Assassin's Creed game sense. They tried to redo it again with Unity and it didn't work. Syndicate, using that same sort of Unity engine, again, did not work. But now Assassin's Creed is a franchise without an identity, in my opinion, in terms of gameplay. Story, it has its identity and it's got plenty of stuff that needs to fix with story as well. But at least it has an identity of how an Assassin's Creed story works. And that they should kind of rejig around as well, but also kind of go back to the roots of the same sense. But that's, again, I've made other videos talking about that. This is about the gameplay and the way the game runs and the way the game works. And again, I said before, I'm of the opinion they shouldn't keep reinventing the franchise because then what is the franchise? Well, at this point, what is the franchise anyway? I think they need a reinvention, they need to start again, and with that, try to stick with it, in a sense, stick with what works. There's going to be things in Empire that work, and there's going to be things in Empire that don't work. I hope there's more things that work, and there's not as much to fix up as there have been for some of the past games of the franchise when they've tried to do this exact thing. But, in this sense, I think there's a lot we can look at Horizon Zero Dawn. There's things like the basic sense of viewpoint system. So many open world games have it now, and Assassin's Creed coined it. And I played Horizon Zero Dawn, and I'm like, holy shit, what a refreshing way to do the viewpoint system with the tall necks, and you understand if you play the game. Uh, doing Every game seems to have some sort of eagle vision. Now, Horizon Zero Dawn, I guess, has an analyzing type of thing, but it's its own thing. It's its own style, and I don't think Assassin's Creed needs to redo that, maybe simplify it down a little bit. It needs to do what it's always done well, Pretty much the same, from your eagle vision, from your character animations, from things like you don't need to reinvent everything under the sun. I think so much works with Assassin's Creed, especially with certain settings, but there's got to be new ways of doing things. I think there needs to be new importance in the open world, the way side activities work, and the way they run in amongst it. And The Witcher 3 has done this, Horizon Zero Dawn's done this, the way they're not just random things around the world, the way collectibles aren't everywhere in your face, and they make up half the game's playtime just because they've chucked a thousand collectibles to get. 
You know, make things interesting. Make everything with a purpose. And that's the main thing that I think games like Witcher 3 and Horizon Zero Dawn have done to the open world game. It has made every little detail have a purpose in gameplay and, of course, in story. Now, I don't just want to ramble about how good Horizon Zero Dawn is and Assassin's Creed needs to do that exact thing. But I think when you're looking at a reinvention of a franchise, I don't think Assassin's Creed have ever done it right in the sense of obviously Unity didn't work when it released, though I think they had some good ideas for it. I think the first thing's combat, and they can do that because they change combat all the time, and it's all, never really been great. Some of them have been good, some of them have not been good, Syndicate especially, but I think it's something they can work from scratch and really work on because it needs to be great. And it just never has been. That's something they can work on. And they'd be phenomenal. I think there's new ways of doing things they've always done. Assassin Tombs is a gameplay sense I've always talked about and what I love. And I think that's something that should be coming back in Empire. And if it's in ancient Egypt, it almost definitely will be coming back. That's something they need to take a way more purposeful detail on. It's just not... not Here's six tombs, they all get you this last armor. Make every little detail in things with a purpose. Everything with a story has a purpose. Including the side activities, how they flesh into the world. Look at, again, like I said, Witcher, Horizon, all that sort of stuff. Then when you're looking at a crafting system and an armor system and an economic system, those are things they should, I think, reinvent, refresh, do something different. It's not all about now, all I see in games is you hunt, you get materials, you craft it. I think there are new ways of doing things. I just look forward to, I think, Assassin's Creed not just doing what they've always done, but really putting a take on it that has a real purpose to it. It's not just, better have a crafting system in there so it'll be shit thrown together. It's not better than anything you've seen. I think they their goal should be to do everything they've done the best it's ever been done. Now, that doesn't mean the story's going to be good. Look at Assassin's Creed 3. That had phenomenal gameplay uh, in comparison to the previous games. The animations looked amazing. Uh, the open world should have flowed better, but it just didn't work because of the setting, because of the story um, that made it bad. It's not the gameplay necessarily in that reinvention. So that was unfortunate just for that sense. And they can do all they want. If the story's not good, of course, like I said, that none of it'll work. But story aside... Just to get this gameplay right, I think there does need to be some sort of reinvention, reinvigorating things. I don't think the viewpoint system should be done the same. Uh, especially in somewhere when you're looking that far back, there's not going to be mega tall, huge buildings to leap of faith off. I think there has to be some sort of new viewpoint system, uh, new leap of faith system. But again, it's got to be a purpose to it. It's got to be a story reason, got to be a real gameplay reason. It's finding new and innovative ways to do things. Not just because but because that's the best solution. And I know I haven't really sat here and given you any clear-cut examples, but again, I'm, I'm, I'm not really a game developer. I'm just a person and a fan that's looking at other open-world games and what they've managed to do. I don't want Ubisoft to copy them. I want Ubisoft to really look at themselves and think, can we do better? They know they can, and they should. And I think... There's a lot of great things Assassin's Creed already has going for it. Let's make all the best bits from all the games and bring it back and use them, re-innovate them. And if it works, it works. If it ain't broken, don't fix it. I'm that kind of person as well. But again, there comes to a point if it's stale, that's also broken. Just because it works, it doesn't mean it's good still because then things do get stale because we've seen it time and time and time and time again. This needs to be new. This needs to be fresh in all sense, in terms of graphics, in terms of gameplay. The way systems flow together, if there is some sort of naval system, I don't expect it to be like Black Flag or anything, not like an open world sea or anything, but, you know, some sort of cohesive flow between the different elements of the landscapes, a better flow, a better seamlessness, if you will. There's so much there uh, for the taking. And this is just, in my view... I wanted to make this video in part because I think I've said some things in the past about them not reinventing the franchise. I don't want them to. They need to, you know, stick to what they're good at. They need to just bring the, bring back the best bits. But I think I'm 
changing my mind, you know, and that's the thing about people, we can change our mind sometimes, uh, when we see a better solution perhaps, maybe I'm right, maybe I'm wrong here, but I just think that I would like to see, since I think they have to reinvent the franchise, I don't think they have a choice, and I think that's what they're doing, uh, I truly believe that, if they're doing it, I just hope it's doing things for the right reasons, in the right way, and really just putting the pressure on themselves, which I'm sure they are, to put the best product out there. And I, I guess that's such a generic thing to say, but I really, really believe that they should put the pressure on themselves. So not just make the best game, but the best that they can do with every single detail, with every finite detail of why they're making this game, why they're doing this, why they're doing that, why is the question that Ubisoft should be asking themselves about everything, every rock they place on the map, every mission they put in the game, every single step the characters take, why are they doing it? And is it the best that they can do? So that's my, I guess, kind of plead to Ubisoft as a fan. At the end of the day, whether you're reinventing the franchise or you're staying with what you've been doing the last few years, which I don't think has worked, but at the end of the day, as long as you're asking yourself why you're doing it, everything, and is it the best it's ever been in the Assassin's Creed franchise? Because that's what they need to be going for every single game they put out. So that's why you need to leave more gaps between development like they've been doing. It's a good step, and I'm looking forward to seeing the first gameplay leaks or demos that Ubisoft put out there, to see and get a look that, is this the best Assassin's Creed that Ubisoft can do? Because they've done it before, and I do believe still that maybe they can do it again. That's my bit of a ramble, I guess, but my view now of what I think should be going on with the development of Assassin's Creed because I feel like I'm changing my mind because I feel like there is a refreshness available with the open world game and I'd like to see them be innovative again because so many open world games copied Assassin's Creed. All of Ubisoft's main open world games copied Assassin's Creed in huge ways from Far Cry, Watch Dogs, etc. They innovated with the first few Assassin's Creed games of what open world can be, and they can do it again. Well, that's actually more of a question. Can they do it again? We'll see.